Abena and Aqua's gifts began to manifest. It was like that of light and darkness. Though the twins were very close, their powers were different. Abena possessed the spirit of purity and peace, while Aqua possessed that of rage and vengeance. Once upon a time, in a beautiful village, there lived a beautiful couple named Kwesi and Afia. Kwesi and Afia were a very happy couple from poor homes, but suddenly they became rich after they got married. The villagers loved and respected them, but this was short-lived when Afia was unable to bear a child due to the multiple miscarriages. Soon, the villagers began to talk, accusing Afia and her husband for sacrificing their children for wealth. This discovery broke their hearts, as the villagers no longer wanted to be associated with them. One day, when Afia was coming back from the stream, some group of women began to mock her. If she hadn't sacrificed her children, they would have been the ones fetching this water. One of the women said, as the rest of them nodded in agreement. Afia went home crying. She told her husband what exactly happened, and he consoled her. This went on for a very long time, till they became fed up. Afia was tired of the humiliation. She decided to seek for help as Kwesi kept insisting that God would give them their children at the right time. Afia went to visit a very powerful juju man who told her that it was the water goddess that would be able to help her. She went to the river as instructed by the juju man. When she got there, she sang and danced, after which the river goddess came out of the water. What do you seek, Afia? The river goddess said, as her voice echoed. Afia told her her story and pleaded with her to help her conceive. Do you know what you are asking? Can you pay the price for it? The river goddess asked as she began to laugh. I am aware of it and I would do anything just to have a child of my own, Afia replied. I would give you two. They would have unique gifts, but you must never let them bathe or swim at any river, the river goddess said to Afia. Afia was surprised that that was the only condition. She thought it would require more sacrifice. The river goddess gave her an egg and asked her to bathe in the river, which she did, after which she was asked to go home. Few weeks later, Afia became pregnant. The villagers began to gossip again, but shockingly, she gave birth to a set of twins after nine months. Afia and Kwesi were so happy. They named the children Aqua and Abena. The villagers felt bad for all the hurtful things they did and said to them, and so they brought a lot of gifts for the newborn babies to show how truly sorry they were. Afia and Kwesi forgave them and accepted their gifts. The villagers loved Abena and Aqua because they were very beautiful and lovely to play with. They were very peaceful children who found favor in the sight of everyone. But this bond was broken when the children turned seven. Abena and Aqua's gifts began to manifest. It was like that of light and darkness. Though the twins were very close, their powers were different. Abena possessed the spirit of purity and peace, while Aqua possessed that of rage and vengeance. Afia decided to restrict the children from leaving the house and playing with the villagers, but it wasn't possible. One day, when the twins snuck out of the house as usual, they saw some women in the market 
talking about them in a very bad manner, accusing their mother of bewitching them. Immediately, Aqua's eyes changed. The air in the atmosphere became harsh and a strange breeze appeared. All the goods in the market were destroyed and some of the villagers were badly injured. The twins quickly ran away so that no one could see them. But unluckily for them, some children saw them and told their mother, Mama, Mama, I saw Abena and Aqua running away. It seems they have done something bad, the children said as the villagers began to protest in anger. For they have never seen something of such before. Those two witches must be sent out of this village before they kill us all, the villagers said as they marched to Quest's house. Afia was shocked. She apologized on their behalf, but the villagers refused. In anger, they invaded the house, but the twins ran away. The villagers caught up with them. But Aqua used her powers to escape, hoping her sister was behind her. But unknowingly, the villagers caught her, took her to the river and threw her in, as they believed she was cursed. But shockingly, Abena's body began to change. It didn't take long. She completely transformed into a mermaid. The villagers were shocked. They quickly ran away. Abena cried out for help, but no one came to rescue her. Kwesi and Afia found Aqua, and they began to search for Abena. They looked everywhere for her, but they couldn't find her until they heard the news from the villagers. Afia ran to the river, but found out that her daughter had turned into a mermaid. She begged the river goddess to set her free, but she was reminded of the vow she made several years ago. Afia was heartbroken. She cried and begged, but nothing could be done. She narrated everything that happened to Kwesi and Aqua, warning her never to visit the river or else she would forever become a mermaid like her sister. The villagers were happy because they thought they had solved half of their problem. At least, this would serve as a warning to her sister never to show her evil powers. One of the women said, as they threatened to do the same to Aqua. But unknowingly to them, Aqua was nothing like Abena. The loss of her sister made her power grow. Her rage intensified and she taught the villagers a bitter lesson. Because of her, oppression and bullying stopped in the village. When the villagers discovered that truly she was only fighting against wrongdoings, they became very sorry. They apologized to her and her parents for all the hurt they caused. They took it upon themselves to be making some sacrifices at the river in honor of Abena. Abena would swim to the river bank and accept their sacrifice, wishing for the day she would feel her sister's warm embrace again. Few weeks later, the village was attacked by some bandits. The villagers called out to Aqua, and with a single rage, the bandits were crushed. The villagers were so happy and they celebrated Aqua. Since that day, Aqua decided to use her gifts to protect the people and the village she loved so much. But not a day passed that she did not meet her twin sister Abena, wishing she was there by her side. Aqua became a very respected person in the village both as a blessing to the villagers and a threat to the enemies. Although she never saw her sister Abena again, but her spirit was always with her, guiding her on the right path to take. This 
is the end of this story. Hope you liked it. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment where you are watching from or what you learned. And do not forget to share this video to your loved ones. Until next time, see you.